Okay guys, I'm gonna show you a fun and very useful art activity for developing some new skills that you may not have already. Um, we're gonna be doing a blind contour drawing. And this is a great way of getting your brain to stop telling you what you think something looks like and draw what it actually looks like. Um, so we're gonna be using a few things today, really simple materials, piece of scrap paper, a piece of A4 paper, a pen. I like using one that's a little bit bold. And you're going to need a mirror that's freestanding. If you don't have one, you can also use um, a cell phone or an iPad on self-portrait mode that you prop up. So first part, we are going to stab a hole in the middle of this paper, like so. This is so that you cannot see your hand as you are drawing. Now, what I'm gonna do is a blind contour drawing, which means I am going to draw a portrait of myself, and I am not going to look at my paper. And by contour drawing, I'm going to do one continuous line all across my page without lifting my pen at all. Now, you'll notice that people's faces don't have one line that connects all their features, so you're going to have to kind of invent how that works, and that's totally up to you. All right, so I tend to start sort of at the top of my head. You can start wherever you want. What's really important is you want to move your pen very slowly. You want to be able to capture every nuance of line that you see. I like to visualize my pen, my line that I'm drawing, as like a little, I'm not going to peek, so I'm going to turn this a little. I like to visualize my line as a little ant that's crawling slowly, slowly, slowly along the edge of what I'm drawing. This is a real challenge in slowing yourself down, getting your eye to move very slowly along with your pen. Now it doesn't really matter at all what order you draw your features in. Right now I'm kind of drawing around my ear And I'm going to go up the rest of my face. And like I said, you want to move very slowly through making your line follow how slow your eye is moving through the, the piece. Now I'm kind of doubling back a little bit. I'm gonna finally go into my features here. Moving inward, drawing an eye. I think I'm gonna speed up the video here since you can't even see what I'm drawing anyway, and we will see what it looks like. All right. <laughs> My favorite part about these drawings is getting to see the grand reveal. So <laughs> as you can see, when we do a blind contour drawing, it's impossible to make sure that all of our features end up in the right spaces. So my eyes are very off from each other, my lips, my nose, they're just all over the place. But what I really love to see in these drawings is you're able to get a close attention to some of those smaller details, some of those lines that you're observing closely, like the exact shape of this eye, some of the curves of the ear, things like that. When we first learn how to draw eyes and what we kind of imagine an eye looks like is something like this. But in reality, our eyes have so many more curves and um, small details that we don't 
notice unless we're really paying close attention to them and and really keeping an eye for those details. So um, I hope you enjoy this activity. This is a great way of really practicing drawing what you see and not what you think you see and just getting out of your, uh, maybe getting out of your comfort zone a little bit. So yeah, enjoy.